Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is about how Rwanda has become the cleanest country in the world. Rwanda is a small country located in East Africa, but despite its small size, it has made significant strides in environmental conservation and sustainability. In this video, we will explore the various steps taken by Rwanda to become a model for sustainable development and cleanliness. Rwanda, a small landlocked country in East Africa, suffered a devastating genocide in 1994 that claimed the lives of an estimated 800,000 people. The genocide had a profound impact on the country's environment, with forests being destroyed and natural resources depleted. However, in the years following the genocide, Rwanda's government recognized the need for environmental sustainability and made a commitment to become a model for sustainable development. The Green Growth and Climate Resilience Strategy is a long-term plan developed by the Rwandan government to ensure sustainable development and environmental conservation. The strategy aims to promote economic growth while reducing greenhouse gas emissions, improving resilience to climate change, and protecting the country's natural resources. The strategy's implementation involves several key areas, including energy, agriculture, forestry, and urbanization. It also includes policies to address waste management, air and water pollution, and the conservation of biodiversity. The government has also established various institutions, including the Rwanda Environment Management Authority (REMA), to oversee the implementation of the strategy. Banning plastic bags Rwanda was the first country in the world to ban single-use plastic bags in 2008, and the policy has been hugely successful. The government recognized that plastic bags were a significant contributor to litter and environmental pollution, and their ban has helped to reduce waste and improve the appearance of the country's cities and towns. The policy has been enforced strictly, with penalties for the manufacture, importation, sale, and use of plastic bags. The ban has also led to the development of alternative products, such as paper and cloth bags, which have created new business opportunities and supported local industries. Efficient Waste Management Rwanda has implemented an efficient waste management system that includes recycling, composting, and waste energy projects. The government has invested heavily in waste management infrastructure, including the construction of recycling plants and waste to energy facilities. Today, over 90% of the country's waste is recycled or composted. The government has also implemented policies to encourage waste reduction, such as imposing a tax on plastic bags and promoting the use of reusable containers. In addition, the government has launched education and awareness campaigns to encourage citizens to take responsibility for waste management. Reforestation forestry is another critical area where Rwanda has made significant strides. The country has a long history of deforestation, with forests being cleared for agriculture and fuel. However, the government has implemented policies to encourage reforestation, such as paying farmers to plant trees and establishing community forests. The government has also worked with international organizations, such as the World Bank, to fund reforestation projects. The government's efforts have paid off with Rwanda experiencing an increase in forest cover from 16% in 1990 to over 30% in 2015. In 2019, Rwanda set a Guinness World Record by planting 350 million trees in just 12 hours. Clean Energy Rwanda has made significant progress in clean energy production. The government has invested heavily in renewable energy, such as solar and hydroelectric power. Today, over half of Rwanda's population has access to electricity, and the country is well on its way to achieving its goal of providing electricity to every citizen by 2024. The government has also implemented policies to encourage the use of clean energy, such as subsidizing the installation of solar panels and promoting the use of electric vehicles. In addition, the government has worked with international organizations to fund clean energy projects, such as the construction of the 80 MW Rouge C3 hydroelectric power plant. Green Cities Rwanda has invested in creating green cities that are sustainable and environmentally friendly. One example is the city of Kigali, which has implemented policies to reduce emissions, such as promoting cycling and electric vehicles. 
The city has also invested in green spaces, such as parks and gardens, to improve air quality and provide recreational areas for residents. In addition, the government has implemented policies to promote green building practices, such as requiring new buildings to be energy efficient and incorporating green roofs and walls. The government has also launched education and awareness campaigns to encourage citizens to adopt sustainable lifestyles, such as composting, using renewable energy, and reducing waste. Community involvement The success of Rwanda's environmental initiatives is also due to the active involvement of local communities. The government has worked with communities to implement policies and projects that address their specific environmental challenges. For example, community-based conservation projects have been established to protect Rwanda's endangered species, such as the mountain gorilla. The government has also launched initiatives to support local communities, such as providing incentives for sustainable agriculture and promoting ecotourism. These initiatives have not only helped to protect the environment but have also provided economic opportunities for local communities. International Collaboration Rwanda has collaborated with international organizations to fund and implement its environmental initiatives. The government has worked with organizations such as the United Nations Development Programme UNDP, the World Bank, and the Global Green Growth Institute GGGI, to fund and implement projects. Rwanda is also a member of international environmental agreements such as the Paris Agreement and the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC. These agreements have enabled Rwanda to access funding and technical support for its environmental initiatives and collaborate with other countries on global environmental challenges. In conclusion, Rwanda's success in becoming the cleanest country in the world is the result of a combination of government policies, community involvement, and international collaboration. The country's focus on sustainable development and environmental conservation has not only improved the quality of life for its citizens but has also created economic opportunities and positioned Rwanda as a global leader in sustainable development.